Page 30, I don't want to play in your yard. That's really the name of the piece. At the top of the page, they're talking about some things that Joseph Hoffman used to. Joseph Hoffman and his wife were famous pianists and teachers, piano teachers, uh, first half of the 1900s, along in there. Well, all teachers have their own methods and their own ways of doing things. And it's nice to read about them and learn about them because then you can just take the bits and pieces and put them together to what you want. So this just gives you some ideas of the way he did it. Not everybody does it that way. It's not an absolute. It's just the way he did it and the way he taught his students. Okay, that's fine. Let's talk about this piece with the long name. Three, four time. It's one sharp, so it's either G major or E minor. Well, look at the last couple measures. We're here. Sounds like G major to me, so I'm guessing it's probably G major. Make sure you can do the scale for G major, the G major scale. Mm -hmm. You can go to my video on it. I, I cover it all in the video for that. At least one octave up and down. Two octaves might be better once you reach this level, but at least one octave up and down. Now, first, let's cover the notes and fingerings. I don't think the rhythm's a problem. It's a bunch of eighth notes. But the fingerings, we're moving all over the place. So watch this. In the right hand, they're starting here. And they're starting to cross over. That's okay, but I, I don't like crossing over if I don't have to. There's different styles of fingering, different ways of fingering things. Different teachers teach different styles. I suggest you be open to whatever and try different things out. And what I'm going to do is, let's take all the notes in the first measure. They're here, 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 and then we have an E2. That's actually a chord. That's the fingering for the chord. So I'm suggesting that's how you finger the first measure. Start here. Two, four. I don't have to cross over the thumb. I think that's much easier than what they're suggesting. And then to go on, now you're going to cross under five. And they want you to do this for the third measure. Now that's okay. It's just one note. And it puts you back in this position for the next measure. And that kind of is okay. But I suggest this fingering. I don't have to cross over the thumb. Then the second measure, you're here. This is the chord. If I The F sharp and all the notes in the next measure is this chord. It's kind of a stretch. If you have little hands, it may not work for you. Maybe you have to take do the one in the book. Otherwise, this chord, just stay here and, and use these fingers. So for the third measure, it's just here. Here. Uh, again, now you're in position for the next measure, which is the same as the first, and this. And then for the next measure, this is third measure, second line, I do four. So I'm, I'm just staying here. Four. And then we do that some more. This is the third line down, last measure. You're here, cross over the, with four, with, actually with the three. If you relax, this will work here, and then you're in position for the last li last line here. Now, if your hand is small and you can't reach that, then you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to lift up and move. Otherwise, connect it. And uh, next to the last measure again, five, four, three, two. Those, those notes, that's a chord, like so, that's what I recommend. Left hand, well, the left hand starts here, so it's one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, there's not a lot going on in the left hand, is there? Let's put the hands together, slowly, you're here.
Let's go down to the third line down, the last measure. You're here. But D sharp is by itself. And here, in the left hand, this is fine, the third finger on that, that G sharp. So the rhythm's a little different there in the last line, second measure. Here, here, here. The hands are playing notes at different times there. You get a handle on that. As far as the articulation goes, just play it all pretty much connected. You can lift up between the slurs if you want. It's like taking a breath. Lift up. Lift up. See, between each of those. Left hand, just play it all connected if you can. So in, in the first line, when I'm here, I'm going to lift up in the, in the right hand and not the left. So I'm connecting one hand and not the other, again. So I'm lifting up in the right hand, I'm connecting the left hand all the way through. Now that's kind of hard to do, and I'm challenging you to, tr I'm challenging you on things. If you're struggling with the notes and all, then forget that, you can lift both hands up. But if you're getting it pretty well, I'm encouraging you to play the left hand all connected. Dynamic wise, it's a suggestion, it's just somewhere in the louder middle part. That's the right hand. The left hand needs to be soft. And as far as the speed goes, well, and sing it. Even if it's just in your head singing it, that's what I do. How fast? You have to decide on how fast you want that to go, and that's how fast the piece goes. Moderato is just somewhere in the middle, but you have to consider the eighth notes. Bah. You're singing a word on each of these notes, how fast is that? And that's, you know, it's not the speed of the beat we're after, it's the flow of the piece. Then they've added pedal. You don't know why you don't need pedal on this piece, but they've added pedal, so let's see what it sounds like. I'm going to push the pedal down right after I play the notes, here. I'm going to lift the pedal up with the right hand, I want to hear the phrasing. So that's not what they're showing. They're showing overlap, lift it up after you play the notes in the next measure. If I do that, it's this way, second measure. See, it's all connected. Well, I want the left hand connected, but I want to hear some silence in the right hand, so I'm going to lift the pedal up. See, I don't care for it at all. In my opinion, the pedal is just messes it up. I see no valid reason for using pedal here. Anywhere in it. And in the last measure, the second line, it blurs it. No, no, just, please, just leave the pedal out. You don't need it here. So it's this way. I like to play this with you very slowly to double check the rhythm and all. I'm not going to do the dynamics. There are no dynamics. I'm not going to do any pedaling. I'll give us three counts. Let's just go over it very slowly together. One and ready and go and one.
three, off.